Hi, my name's Neil G, and thank you for tuning in to my Genesis Camp um, session. I'll be doing it on Vagrant as a workflow from a beginner level to an advanced level and anything in between. So I hope you enjoy. Now, V is for Vagrant, and a lot of the words in this presentation and session will be beginning with V. So apologies up front, and I wasn't the one who started those names in the first place. So be prepared for lots of Vs. What you need to get started are essentially five bits of software. Well, I use five bits of software in my workflow. And there are other ones you can substitute in and use. <clears throat> but these are the ones that I would use. VirtualBox, Vagrant itself, VVV, Variable VVV, and VVV Dashboard. So a bit of a mouthful and a lot of people think, well, how do they all fit in together and, you know, why do we need all these, all these bits of software? I tend to use, uh, I was trying to think of an analogy to use and I think the best thing I could come up with was really a computer itself. So, and I would say that VirtualBox itself would be the empty computer, Vagrant would be the motherboard, VVV would be the operating system. Um, variable VVV would be the the application, the main application, and VVV dashboard would be the admin browser style interface, how we set things up. So but with that in mind, hopefully it might kind of uh, explain a, lo a little bit better. Also under the Vagrant uh, application itself, there, there are two sub items, which are plugins. Vagrant host updater and Vagrant triggers. These, these are not officially required, but definitely I, I would use these as they'll make your life a lot easier. And I'll explain those as we go along. So VirtualBox is a straight download. It's a VM application similar to Parallels and FusionSoft. Um, it's free, it's from Oracle, it's quite well maintained. You just go to the site, find the box that is suitable for your operating system and download it. It doesn't matter where you are when you download it, it's a point and click install. Then we install Vagrant itself. Go to the Vagrant website to the download section, find the appropriate installer for your operating system and download and install. And it's another point and click installation. Now, once Vagrant's installed, then then it's good to do the actual plugins. And they are run in the terminal with a basic command line, Vagrant plugin install, and then the Vagrant uh, plugin name. The host updater is, uh, it maintains uh, a DNS mapping in your host file of the domain name and the IP address. It does it for you behind the scenes, so you don't have to worry about it. And the triggers, the Vagrant triggers, that will do a few things for you, including it, it will back up your WordPress databases each time you halt Vagrant. So that's a nice reassurance to have. And for the next three, uh, the last three bits of software, I would recommend uh, installing with Git. You can also download the zip files and move them into place manually. So the first one is VVV itself. So here, typically I would put this myself in my local directory under a folder called, say for instance, local dev, and just git clone that straight in there. So I've got the command line down the bottom, to, it says git clone, and the address of the uh, the repo, and then to move it into a folder called local dev. Mm -hmm. And we do the same thing with the next two pieces of software as well, variable VVV, which helps us create the new sites. This is uh, maintained by Brad Parbs. And clone that one into the um, local dev folder we created previously. Or download the zip and move it in. And the final one is the VVV dashboard. Also clone that into the local dev folder. And once you download this as well, just you have to move a, a couple of files to another folder. Just read the instructions on the install how to do that. And then it's complete. So what we have to do now is actually boot up our new environment. So you have to do all this in the terminal. Uh, there's only a very few straightforward commands, so it's not, not scary. 
you launch the terminal and you type in Vagrant Up. And what will happen is it does what is called provisioning. It will provision your new Vagrant box to act like the environment you want it to. It will go out and get all the software, download it, configure it, install everything for you. And I think you have to put your password in once. So once you do that, you'll see a whole lot of spieling text going on inside the terminal. And that's what it's doing. It's very verbose, the output. So grab yourself a nice big cup of coffee and wait for about 10 minutes, I think it takes, to, to do the first boot. And when it's done, it will uh, end and the command line prompt will tell you that it's finished and where to go to next. And where you do go to next is to your dashboard, which you can get to by going to vvv.dev. And inside that, you will see you have four active WordPress sites with clickable links to go to the front or the back end. Uh, the first two are the, the latest WordPress version and the second one is the, the, the latest beta release. And the last two are development WordPress sites which, which contain all, all the build files and source files. Also in the dashboard, you've got links to things like PHP and MyAdmin and various um, debugging applications. You've also got some vagrant commands which are to help you in the, in the terminal as well. So that's very nice. There is another dashboard called Top Down, which is also available, very similar. Uh, these are quite nice in the, in the browser to work with. So the next thing we want to do is create more WordPress websites, and these are for our development sites. And this is a tool we used for which we've installed already, VVV variable, and its command is VV. So down the bottom of this slide, you can see to create new sites, VV create, and then it brings you through a wizard to install the site. Two things prior to doing the new sites though, just to be wary of is you need to move that command VV into your path. So there's some documentation on how to do that uh, on the website, I believe. And also if you get stuck there, just do a Google search on how to add uh, to your path and you'll find it. Your path is normally inside your bash profile or your dot bash RC files. And the second thing to just be wary of is the provisioning time. So the first time we did Vagrant Up took about 10 minutes to do and that will take the same amount of time each time you create a new website unless you use a custom provisioning script which can bring the deployment time down to probably under 60 seconds. So I use a, a custom script for my um, VV creates and I'll post a link on the resources uh, slide as well where you can download that if you want to use it. So before we go into just a quick demo, I'll cover the blueprint as well. So to create blueprints in the terminal, you just run the initial command VV dash dash blueprint dash init and that will create a sample blueprint file for you to show you how it's formatted in a JSON style format. And it's pretty self-explanatory of where to put things. So you call the blueprint. So in my slide here, I've called it Genesis. Then I've put my themes in underneath it. I've got underscores, Genesis framework, and two Genesis style themes. But only one of those has true um, activate against the activate value. So that'll be my Genesis child starter theme. Then we have plugins, which I've got one plugin here as an example. Um, I don't tend normally to use the plugins. I use the TGM plugin activation by Gary Jones. It seems to work better for me. But if you don't want to use that, you can just put your plugins in the blueprint. And the final two are options to provide uh, things like constants for your wp-config.php file. Okay, let's do a quick demo. So swapping over to my browser, this is my uh, development environment and I've got 20 active sites. Uh, some of the tools you can access via this dashboard include um, PHP My Admin, PHP Info Web Grind, and some other, some other goodies in there. Now swapping over to the terminal, let's just do a quick creation. So we run vv create 
and then we just assign a name. So we'll call this one Genesis Camp. And you run through a wizard. So we won't use a blueprint on this one. I'll leave the domain for genesis-camp.dev, latest WordPress, no multi-site, no Git repo, no local SQL. Uh, remove default themes and plugins. No, I'll keep those. Add sample content. You can use that as well, but I'll say no on this event. And you can enable WP debug. Say no there. And it just confirms what it's going to do. It will halt Vagrant and bring it up again. So I'll just agree to all that. And it will now run through uh, backing up all the databases, creating the new site, and then booting back up. So I'm going to pause this briefly and then you can see what it looks like at the end. So that's the provisioning now complete. You can see about probably 10 lines up from the end there. It's completed in, in 53 seconds, which is quite fast. Um, and now it's ready for the um, in the front end in the, the vvv.dev. So we had 20 sites. We should now be blessed with 21. And that will be at the top genesiscamp.dev so you access that site via the front end or straight into um, WP admin in the back end the default password a very secure one of admin and password and that is how you create a uh, vagrant site and access it and that is it thanks very much for listening to the session and I hope you got something out of it. Uh, what I'll do is I'll post some resource links on my website, wpbeaches.com. Until next time, see you then. Thank you.